Yesterday I felt like kissing your face, but I punched it instead. Dave, I think we did it. Dude, I know we did it. I mean it. This game is awesome. Awesome? Ninja Pirate Robots is the best thing we've ever done. It is going to be mega tits huge. Yeah. It's a shame we're not going to see any of that money. Larity is going to get rich off of this game. Which leads me to my next point. Screw Larity. What? I say we leave Game of Vision, form our own company, and as an added bonus, release the game ourselves. You're going to start laughing soon, right? To let me know you're kidding, right, Dave? I've already found an investor for our startup cost. Guess what, pal? We move into our new offices this afternoon. What? No, we can't leave. We've got security here and mediocre insurance. What if I need to get something lanced? Not to mention that this game technically belongs to Larity since we created it while we were working for him. If he finds out, he'll kill us with a gun. Jerry, Larity is crap house crazy. He snacks on venison pops. He might kill us one day for taking the last diet soda or passing out flyers for a rager at his house. I don't know. That was you? Do you really have to ask? The point, my friend, is that you have quite literally been living in the past. The future is stoner vision. Stoner vision, people are going to think we're dealing, Dave. That's phase two, compadre. Well, I will say this. I haven't seen you put this much work into anything since you turned your computer into a bomb. Well, that's how much I believe in you and in Ninja Pirate Robots. Ninja Robot Pirates. Better my way, but let's stay focused here. What do you say? Uh, I don't know, man. <coughs> homo. Uh, excuse me, I said homo. It's just that we have good jobs. I don't really want to leave. Ring, ring. Hello? Opportunity? Who are you looking for? Jerry? Hmm. He was here a second ago, but it seemed like he's been replaced by a big fat pussy. No. You don't want to leave a message? Oh, you're never going to call him again. Hmm. What are you wearing? Oh, opportunity. You are a dirty girl. All right, let's do it. Yes! Well, the first thing we need to do is write a proper letter of resignation. We need to leave here without burning any bridges. Dave? Okay, two words. First word sounds like you. I got it. You are a douchebag, and we quit. Exactly. Dave, video charades is a brilliant idea for a game. Put it into production immediately. No, you are the douchebag, and we quit. I already guessed you die gum charade. No, you don't get it, Larity. Fine, fine, both y'all can have a raise. I realize you're worth a lot more than I'm paying you. Whoa, Dave, wait. Maybe we should reconsider this. Reconsider? What you two sissies yapping about? Mr. Larity, give us a second. Dave, we don't have to do this. What the? Oh, Come on, dude, we quit. Did you say you're quitting? Nobody quits, boy. And nobody sets my desk on fire but me. Jerry, today we pay this place back for all the crap we had to deal with. For tomorrow, we shall be kings. Come with me to the land of freedom. A land filled with handies, cash, and water coolers filled with schnapps. I've really enjoyed working here, and you've been a real mentor. Hey, gummit, I gotta blow off some steam. I hunted you once, Kyoko. Now I'm gonna hunt you again. Hey, Mr. Larity, you wanna see me? Oh, hell yeah. Die, Whitey. Hey, go! Two layers of chocolate bars. Sprinkle some sour cream and onion potato chips. Oh, God! Can't reach Swiss rolls. Sorry about that, man. It's been really cool working with Come you. Come on, Jerry. You gotta get in the spirit here. This is your chance to do whatever messed up thing you've ever dreamt of doing to these people. Let's do it. Oh, my gosh, Dave. You're right. I have an idea. <laughs> I feel gangmeister. Mary, hey, I just wanted to let you know I think you're very pretty and extremely intelligent. And I don't know what you're doing this weekend, but if you wanted and I wanted, maybe you and me could go out for ice cream or, or miniature golf. What I'm trying to say is, Mary, would you like to watch a sunset with me? Woohoo! So what do you say? Do we give it a go? Oh yeah, you're on. Crack. I've been waiting to do this a long time, dude. You know nothing about video games, and you're half a retard! Now, prepare to have your ass kicked while I make the sounds of an angry Asian man. Hi, guys. What are hold? It's all right, girls. You can go back to sleep now. <laughs> oh, so I guess you heard we're leaving. <laughs> Maybe we could brunch sometime? I'll just take Dave. 
Who wants my computer? Here you go. Ew, it's all sticky. Who wants my tape collection? You know you can take that with you, Dave. <laughs> no way, man. I'm buying all new stuff with my new money. I called dibs on the Miami sew machine. They're all yours, dude, because we're out of here. Woohoo! Stoner vision, here we come. You're sure there's no way we're ever coming back here, right? Not a chance. Then suck eggs, losers! Sorry, was that too harsh, Dave? Nah. Okay, well, it looks like we only need to sell 10% of our game stock to pay off your investor. It was such a great idea to work in this old garage, Dave. We are saving so much money. Maybe this really was the right decision. Saving money? Savings for suckers and old people, dude. This old garage is connected to a kick-ass house I rented. We're just working out here because there's no room inside. What? Follow me, dude. Follow me to the promised land. Oh, and I hope you're not allergic to heaven. Oh my god! Here we have the zebra room. Dave! The arcade room? <laughs> yeah! Cousin Pac Man, by the way. This, of course, is Nolan Bush now. What? Hey, man, you must be Jerry. I'm Nolan. You want to play some Atari later? No, thanks. I'm good. What a jerk. Stay cool. Always. Hey, you should play Atari with Nolan. He's costing me, like, a grand a day. A grand a day? You have to play with him for at least two hours a day to make it cost effective. Oh, it's that all? It's not my rules. It's math. Let us continue with Le Tour. Putting green, check, underwater room. Cafeteria, uh, can I have three cheeseburgers, a birthday cake, ooh, and a French dip sandwich? That sounds delightful. Right away, Mr. Dave. Over here, private zoo. Dave, yeah. what the hell did you do? You spent all the money we had. I spent way more than that, dude. Oh my god. You gotta spend big to win big, dude. Ninja pirate robots will pay for this house 10 times over if the game makes $30 million and eight cents. Oh my god. God. Whoa, watch it, Jerry. Don't worry, buddy. It's not a mistake you'll make twice. Trust me. Now, quit screwing around. I want to show you the company Jet Copter. Did I mention it's invisible? It costs a load, but I think it's worth it because it's invisible. Kill me. Please, God, let this gorilla kill me right now. That will probably be arranged. And who the hell is this? Jerry, this is Tony Dakota, our chief investor. Oh, sorry, Mr. Dakota. A, a real pleasure to meet you. Thanks for the vote of confidence. This ain't a vote of confidence, Jerry. This is my money! I'll be talking to you boys soon. Oh, jeez, Dave, that's our investor? Awesome, right? Dude, he's got a gun, and he let me feel it. He put it right on my temple. The Dave and Jerry are gone. That's a good thing. Those two sons of bitches are like a piddle stain on this company. And I don't like the way you ladies wipe your unmentionables <laughs> after you make a number one. Yeah, we too must wipe away the residue left by Jerry and Dave. Now that's why I'm happy to introduce to you our new team of Mike and Sean. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Larity. Uh, let me start off by saying what a thrill it is to be part of such an innovative company. Here, here, Sean. And may I add, we're tickled pink to have the opportunity to brainstorm with so many bright, talented people. <laughs> I just hope we can keep it up. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Do they expect us to buy this crap? Todd, I hope this doesn't embarrass you. You, but I'm a huge fan of your game Nacho Time. Mm, you have won my respect. Always good to meet a fan. And Mary. At the risk of getting on Mr. Larity's bad side, I think you're an underutilized resource. You're nothing short of a genius. And may I say, you're a beautiful genius. <laughs> we also baked everyone cookies. Don't worry, Black Steve. We made some lactose free. We know how dairy upsets your belly. Yeah. I think he likes it. Oh, we ate up four good minutes here. Yeah, we better work late tonight. No one else leaves until they do. Well, uh, Ninja Robot Pirates shipped out yesterday. Yeah, you told me that already. Oh, yeah. Well, we probably won't know the numbers for a little while, will we? Probably not. We could brainstorm some new ideas. Sure. You start. Okay, so how about a game... About space. Lame. All right. Okay. Um, what about motorcycles? Not rad enough. What about food? Not hating it. I like food. You know who else likes food? The gang at Game of Vision. Yeah, they love food. We should go see them and talk to them about food. Yes. Great idea, Mary. It really makes the game.
I can't believe how many games oh. you have in production right now. Gee, thanks. I, I, uh... Are you sure you like this color, Mary? Because we want you to love it. Hey, everybody. Ugh, look who's back. Hey, Mary, uh, just wanted to say hi. Hey, you must be the guys who used to work here. You guys must be the guys who like to sit where I tug my rug. Great meeting you, but we better get back to work. If I could only cough the word douchebag. Well, 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 if it isn't the two hot shot video game tycoons. <laughs> Yes, yes, we Mr. are. Mr. Rarity, Todd, good to see you. Just wanted to stop in and say hi to the old gang. I hear your game debuted today, fellas. <laughs> and based on what I hear, that thing's moving like a turd after I eat an entire block of Romano cheese. Which is to say not at all. I'm saying you're bankrupt. Oh, no. Oh, is it, Dave? Or is it possible I've been bribing Benny here with quaaludes and chewing tobacco to go through your trash on a daily basis? And if that's possible... It just might be possible I called some of my friends to make sure your little stoner vision venture was DOA. That stands for dead on your asses, fellas. Dave, dude, we are so screwed. Oh, this is the second greatest day of my life. The first greatest day being the day my father died. Wow. What? It allowed me and mother to finally be alone. Nothing wrong with that. Whoa, keep your eye on that fella. Now, if you boys will excuse me, I gotta go alphabetize my monkey skulls. <laughs> Bankrupt, oh god. Dude, do not sweat it. Ow, what the f Jerry? Well, I'm very much sweating it. We've got to find a way to make some of that money back. Think, what about Larity? Maybe if we got our old jobs back. Snap out of it. Ow! Touche. Look, Jerry, Larity's never going to give us our jobs back. Not after what we did. He already replaced us. And did you see the wad on that guy? Dude, he had a python down there. I don't know. He couldn't like Sean and Mike as much as he likes us. Are you two fans of Mozart? I actually prefer Beethoven. Give the man some Beethoven and class it up by 10%. Well, I just wanted to let you know it's been a pleasure having you two as part of the team. You guys are the best employees we've ever had at Game of Vision. If there's anything at all I can do for you, I just let me know. Actually, sir, there is. We're gonna need some information. Sir, we're federal agents. Dang gum it, you sons of bitches! I knew there was something rotten about the two of you. Now, is this about that illegal elephant? No. Whoa, play a little closer to the vest, Big T. Is this about that psychic hotline scam? The accident shampoo factory? The white slaver ring? A three-mile island? The wombat mill? Torture Academy. Getting them eagles drunk. I did not know they were cooking meth in the back of that bondage club. Stop it. You're under arrest for tax evasion. Ooh, talk about dodging bullets. We're ready to strike a deal. Ha <laughs> ha, perfect. What do you need? Your company, your house, and all your money. Unless there's something else you think we'd like better. Play me some queen so I can think. Had a blast, guys. Later, Nolan Bush now. What about ColecoVision? I heard their admin just left to go follow Flock of Seagulls. Jerry, we're not going to ColecoVision, dude. We're going to leave the country for a while. Going to need this duct tape and this handgun. How could we have been so stupid? Cans of soup, coupons for pizza time. When is Mr. Dakota going to get here? Now. Hello, gentlemen. How are you doing this fine day? Tony, everything's going really cool. Hey, buddy, can I get you something? Maybe like an apple pie or a giant beanbag chair shaped like tits? No, thank you, David. I would just like to get my money and be on my way. About that, there's been just a little glitch in the money. Is your name David, too? No, Then I'm... why are you talking? If I wanted to hear from you, I would have spoken to you. Do you understand? Dude, why do you always do that? It's not my fault. My bladder is easily intimidated. Now, David, why don't you just hand me my 300000 and I will be on my way. Here's the deal. Ow! What the f***? Ow! Listen, man, there's a slight problem, Tony, with the... Ow! Why does everybody keep slapping me? Because you're a douchebag. Look, dude, we don't have your money. I see. I see. Well, you're going to have to rectify the situation in, let's say, 24 hours. We could probably swing it if you let us roll it in with our student loans. And I could probably cut off your heads and bring them to your mothers so they can kiss their babies' asses, okay? How are you going to make our mothers kiss our own asses if you bring them our heads? You have... 24 hours! 24 hours sounds very fair. Thank you, David. Until we meet again, 
What the hell? Dave, when you made some calls to find our investor... I didn't really call anybody. I just asked my buddy Jamie if he knew anybody with big money. The pot dealer, Jamie? Uh-huh. And the guy he knows with big money is probably his drug connection? Wow, you are really putting the pieces together, Magnum P.I. So what you're saying is that we borrowed $300,012 from a drug lord? I don't think he's really a lord. Maybe a prince or a sultan. Dave, even when we sell everything that's left here, we're still in the hawk like, oh god. Look, dude, we'll figure it out. This is America. There's got to be like a million ways to make money in 24 hours. And if not, I hear the afterlife is pretty sweet. I don't feel so good, Dave. Get back in there, dude. We're up $200. We only have a few more gallons to go. That's a wall, dude. The door is over there. Strike two, bro. That's, that's a window. Still the wall, dude. That's weird, dude. Your face is cut, but you're not bleeding. Dude. Dude. Okay, dude, we put every cent of our savings. You don't have any savings. We put every cent of your savings on Daddy's Little Whore 2 show. That's $20,000. And the odds are seven to nine, man. Is that good? Yeah, I have no idea. Man, they're off. Payback a drug lord is off to a fast stop. Why didn't you bet on that horse? Shh, here comes our horse. And bringing up the rear is Daddy's Little Whore. Don't worry, folks, that horse will be just fine, see? Don't kill him! Let him feel the pain! You stupid piece of horse! There's only one thing left to do. Get on the ground, everybody! We're the Secretaries of the United States, and this is a robbery! Yo, you guys' nickname is terrible! Just call yourselves the Secretaries of State! Shut up! Just put the money in this bag, and no one will get hurt! Correction! Even if you give us your money, we will shoot you in the face! That's how crazy we are! Look at me! I'm Alexander Haig, bitches! You're all safe! He doesn't mean that! These guns are made of licorice! Shut up, Jerry! F you, Dave! My name is Henry Kissinger! Oh, yeah? Well, you look like your name is Joe! I'm screwing everything up because I'm a huge Pussy. Freeze. F B I. You're under arrest, you filthy degenerates. Whoa. Now take off your clothes so I can scrub you clean with my tongue. Like a cat. Okay, Dave, on the count of three. Hey, stop him before he gets away. You're right, Mr. Secretary. Hold it right there, bad dude. You wanna dance, Nancy? Let's dance. <laughs> Mr. Larity, I know this might seem like we're groveling, but let me say this. I know that we set your desk on fire. No, you set his desk on fire. Will you let me finish? Okay, I set your desk on fire. But maybe you taught us to be this way. Hard-edged, cutthroat businessmen. Maybe we were just trying to make you proud. I mean, wouldn't you have been ashamed of me if I hadn't set your desk on fire? Well, Dave, you do have a valid point there. So what's all this about? Between business, we need to borrow a bunch of money. It'd be just a drop in the bucket for such a successful man as yourself, Mr. Larity, sir. How much are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boys, I got my own problems. Please, Mr. Laird, you gotta help us. Dave got our company funded by a drug lord, and if we don't get his money back, he's gonna do something bad with our heads and our asses and mobs and something else I didn't fully understand. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be not good, though. Hold it a doggone minute. Did you say he got funded by a drug lord? Bonafide. And my boys and I are willing to deliver him right to ya. Provided, of course, we forget about that other little matter. The Bondage Club meth lab? No! The thing you were actually gonna charge me with! The tax evasion thingy! So what do you say, boys? Drugs are bad. Drugs are really bad. Maybe the worst. Definitely the worst. Worse than tax evasion? Totally worse than tax evasion. Do you think drugs are worse than genocide? Uh, yeah. What about nuclear war? Ooh, what about AIDS? Oh, what about rogue nuclear scientists with AIDS raping babies? You, what are you doing there? Kissing my computer. Look, as representatives of the federal government, there's no question in our minds that drugs are the worst thing that's ever happened on planet Earth, ever. That's a Roger shot. And in a big white house on Pennsylvania Avenue, there's a beautiful lady named Nancy who agrees with us. So we got a deal? Deal. David! David! I presume you're here because you have my money. Actually, Mr. Dakota, the notorious drug dealer who has illegal cash and drugs, we do not actually have your money. Uh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, he did. Help, we need someone with guns. You are all under arrest. I knew this was a setup. That's the way you want to play, you no good sons of bitches? Then say hello to my little friend. Hola, Tony. This is it, dude. We're finally gonna die, and it's all your fault. I love you, man. Just so you know, 
I kissed you when you were sleeping one time, but it was just a joke. You did what, Dave? A joke for who? Ow! I just got shot in the ass. Oh, God, that hurts. Nice work, boys. Ding, take these corpses over to the usual place. Sure thing, Dad. Well, I guess we both got each other out of a little jam today. I agree, and you know what I'm thinking? Maybe we should just let bygones be bygones, and uh, you can give us our jobs back. I could probably arrange that. Ew. However, we cannot have any bad feelings over the way y'all left. So if you boys want your jobs back, you're going to have to make some amends to the rest of your co-workers. What do you mean, make amends? This is cruel and unusual punishment. Why did Todd have to get kicked out of his D&D group? Really good morrow to thee, fine sirs. My name is Pardu, and I am the traveler of Jaro. I have wandered a great distance to trade my potions for your herbs and coin. What say you? I am Sandow, bearer of the herb. And I am Penlock, dark elf. Come, let there be dancing and merriment. I don't see dancing or merriment. Can we get your act together, fellas? Dad! With each other. Yeah! Looks like we got ourselves a cuddle fest! Hey, everybody! Come take a look at the two dancing fairies! <laughs> 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 the old gag my stick.